What's up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a collective reading for anybody and everybody who decided to click on this video. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. So keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you. Remember to only take what fits and leave the rest for somebody else. I got the Six of Cups card, and I was hearing that you're finally receiving the apology. Some of you have been wanting an apology, and some of you thought that you were never going to receive an apology, and you're going to. This may shock you that you're actually going to receive an apology from somebody who you thought would never apologize for whatever it is that they did. Okay, and the Six of Cups is also giving me this energy of reconnection. And I feel like some people are going to be reconnecting around this time. Right now when you're watching this, through the next six months. But I'm getting heavy significance around right now and March for when these reconnections and apologies are going to be happening. Okay, so we're going to pull some cards and we're going to see what the energy is. Some of you don't really care for the apology. Some of you don't really care. For you, it doesn't really change anything. For some of you, you're welcoming the apology. For those of you that don't really care, I feel like this person's still going to apologize to you because they feel like they need to, all right? So let's see what the um, Romance Angel Oracle cards have to say. Religious factors. Somebody might be apologizing to you for not believing in you or for not believing you. Tell me more. And then we're seeing wedding. You may have already been married to this person who's apologizing to you, or you were in some sort of like long-term commitment with this person who's apologizing to you. And I'm getting that this person's apologizing because they want to come back into your life. This doesn't have to be romantic, but for some of you it is. And for those of you that it is romantic, I'm getting that this person has finally realized that you are the one for them. That's how they're feeling. They're like, I really took this person for granted and I could see myself marrying this person. I could see myself settling down with this person. This person is the one for me. I really screwed up and I need to apologize about that for some of you. For some of you, I'm getting that this is like friends who judged you or who just kind of distanced themselves for you from you because of whatever reason. And now they're wanting to reconnect with you and they're wanting to like form a strong connection with you. Like they don't ever want to lose you again as a friend because you mean so much to them and because you add so much value to their life. All right. So we're going to start with these and we're going to find out how the person is feeling who is issuing this apology. And then I'm going to pull a different deck to see how you are feeling. So Spirit, tell me about the other person, the person who's issuing the apology. How are they feeling? Ah, Page of Cups, there's the apology. Nine of Cups them realizing how happy you actually make them. And the hanged man. So what I'm seeing here is that the two of you have been apart for quite some time. And this person is realizing that you do make them very happy. And that they screwed up. And so now they want to offer you an apology. Now they want to try to come back into your life and reconnect with you. They've had plenty of time to think about what they did, about what they said, about how they acted, etc. And the Nine of Cups shows them being content and happy with you. They know now that you make them happy. All right, let's put that to the side and let's see how you feel about this then. How does Collective feel about this apology or this person? Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you've been really focusing on yourself, on your business, on your health. Knight of Swords. I do feel like you're open to hearing from this person, but you kind of have your guard up when it comes to this person or when it comes to these people. 
because you don't fully trust them based on past experiences. But it does look like with the Knight of Swords, you are open to some sort of communication with them. And we're seeing the Two of Cups. So some of you will take this person back and there will be a really happy ending. With the Two of Cups, this is love and romantic feelings and a partnership. For some of you, I feel like all you wanted from them was an apology and you would fold. <laughs> like, that's just what I'm getting. You're like, if they would just apologize to me and own up to what they did and communicate with me, then I would allow them back in. Then I would give to them the way that I know how to give to people. That I would love them deeply. That I would even marry them. This person thinks that you're the one. And for some of you, I'm getting that you think that way too. But lately you've been so focused on yourself and your money and your finances and for some of you building a business. But it looks like you're open to communication with them. And I'm getting that that's all they want at first. They're like, hey, can I talk to you? Hey, can we just talk? It might even be like a text message or a DM. And they're like, can we just talk? And you're going to be open to that. I feel like the guidance here is to not reject them at first, even though some of you may want to reject this situation or reject this person. The advice I'm getting is just hear them out. Whether it ends in this two of cups, like we're together, we're getting back together, we're in a relationship, we're friends again, whatever, it doesn't have to end that way. But Spirit just wants you to be open to hearing what they have to say because this apology is genuine. They took the time to actually like evaluate themselves to see what they did wrong because I'm getting that some of you, this person kind of like blamed you or made it seem like you were the problem and it was like all your fault. And that's not true. It takes two to tango, right? It takes two to make a thing go right. And I'm getting that they see that now. They're like, oh, I was being immature. I was acting a little childish. I messed up. And so they really started to take accountability for everything that they did wrong in this friendship, in this partnership, etc in this marriage even. Some of you may be divorced from this person and you guys might be getting back together. That happens. Okay. Let's pull some more on their end and see what are this person's actions toward collective. Seven of Cups. I feel like they've been trying to figure out a way to approach you or a way to communicate with you. They're trying to think of a way to apologize to you or to approach you with the Seven of Cups they're kind of confused on how to approach you because they don't think that you'll be receptive to hearing from them again. Five of Swords. I feel like they're talking to their friends. They're talking to family about you. I'm also getting with the Five of Swords current actions they're taking is cutting off people who are not you. So they may be distancing themselves from other people so that they can come towards you. And I'm also getting that they're cutting off any of like the negativity, any of the naysayers, because I'm getting with this Five of Swords energy that they are talking to their friends and trying to talk to their friends about how you make them happy and about how this relationship made them happy truly and about how they want to get back together with you. But there may be some people here who are like against that. So they're cutting themselves off from those people because I feel like this person has truly made up their mind. Their heart is telling them that it's you. But there may be other people in their head or trying to get into their head telling them that you're not the right one for them. And they're distancing themselves from those people currently. They're cutting those people off with the Five of Swords. We're seeing the Empress and we're seeing the Devil card. Interesting. I'm getting that they're communicating with their mom or they're communicating with women about you. They're talking to like their female friends, they're talking to their mother, they're talking to their grandparents about you. The devil card is interesting though because I do get that this person has some sort of like um, obsession. Oh, you know what this is? I get it now. This person is trying to heal and this person is trying to um, remove any bad habits from their life before they come back to you. That's what it is because they want to show up for you in the way that you deserve. So the devil could be like bad habits. It could be addictions. And so they're trying to like 
take care of that before they come back into your life. They don't want you to have to deal with their afflictions or their addictions or their problems. They want to make sure that they are like healthy, ready to go, in the right mindset, no longer in these bad habits, no longer being toxic so that they can show up for you and show up in this relationship the way that they're supposed to. I'm also getting that this person finds you very beautiful. I'm getting this message that they haven't found anybody who is as beautiful as you. They haven't found anybody who is you, period. For some of you, it looks like this person has tried dating or maybe even got married to somebody else, for some, and nobody is you. It almost feels like they were looking for you or looking for the way that they felt with you in other people and they haven't found that because it doesn't exist outside of you. The love that they feel with you only exists with you and the beauty that you possess is yours, unique to you. So they're not going to find you in anybody else and they've realized that now, got it. Okay, let's tell me about your actions towards this person. Four of Swords. You're kind of just chilling, <laughs> like resting, relaxing, healing, focusing on your business, focusing on your money. For some of you, you've been sick, so you've just been kind of like taking it easy on yourself and resting and relaxing. Queen of Swords. And then the Ace of Wands. I feel like you're gonna give this person like a little bit of a hard time. And I kind of respect it, like I kind of love it. With the Queen of Swords showing up under the Knight of Swords, you're like, I'm open to hearing from this person, but I'm going to make sure that I have my guard up. I'm going to make sure that this person isn't just like saying things that I want to hear. I really respect this Queen of Swords energy. It's like, I'm willing to hear you out, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to jump back into your arms because you said you're sorry. Like, I need you to prove it to me. I'm hearing actions speak louder than words. You see how in the Queen of Swords too, her hand is open, but she also has a sword. So she's open to receiving. This character is open to receiving and I'm getting that you, regardless of your gender, are open to hearing from this person again. But you also have the sword up where you're like, I will cut this off just as quick. I will block you again. I will reject you just as fast. If I get suspicious and if I see this devil toxic energy again, because I'm not going to put myself through even more hurt. I'm not going to just run back into the arms of somebody who's going to hurt me again. And that's very respectable. And I'm getting that this person also respects that. And they're like, okay, what do I need to do? How much time do you need? What do you need for me to prove to you that I'm serious, that I mean this apology, that I wanna be with you? Okay, and then we're seeing the Ace of Wands with the Two of Cups. I feel like you are going to try again with this person. There's this overarching energy that I'm getting of you trying again with this person because they are coming correct this time. You're seeing that they've cut out all the toxicity. You're seeing that they've healed from those bad habits. You're seeing that they're actually taking accountability for their actions. You're seeing that they're cutting off people that no longer serve them as well. You see that they're thinking for themselves, that they're feeling things now, that they're listening to their heart. And they are saying all of the right things. I'm gonna be so for real with you because this person is saying all of the right things, but I think that that could also be why you're hesitant because you're like, anybody could say the right things. Anybody could apologize and say they're sorry, but do you really mean it? So let's find out if this person really does mean it. Does this person really mean it, Spirit? The Emperor, they do. They do mean it. They're very serious about reconnecting with you they're very serious about apologizing to you. And I'm, for some of you, they're very serious about making it up to you. The Emperor is such a good sign from them because they've really grown and matured and healed and they're ready for something committed. They're ready for marriage. They're ready for the one. They are serious and they really do mean it. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is. What's the outcome? The outcome is the Six of Pentacles. You giving this another shot. I love to see it. And I really do feel like for some of you, it's going to end up in marriage. 
or a long-term commitment, or for some of you, you were divorced and you're going to be getting back together. Do you see how the Empress and the Emperor showed up on their side? They know that you're the one. They've had plenty of time in the separation to figure it out and to see the truth. And they know that you're the one for them and they want you to give them another shot. And I feel like you are going to, and it's going to be much better this time. So that's what I'm seeing. Hopefully this helped you. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated and I will see you next time. Peace.